Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You already know who it is. This is your host, Nigel McKnight of Sigma Male Diaries. Thanks, everyone, for following me on my TikTok. Thanks for following me on my Facebook page, Sigma Male Diaries, as well. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I had a very interesting podcast with a friend of mine from the Black Man Experience podcast. Look him up. Check him out, ladies and gentlemen. And go on over and show him some love and support. Check him out on Spotify. Um, he may be on there. I can't be too sure, but just check him out. Um, we had an interesting topic about what disqualifies a woman based on a man's needs, wants, you know, the things that he like within a woman. And a lot of men don't really talk about this abroad. They may talk about it amongst each other in groups. They are doing it more so now on social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, even Twitter. Because a lot of men are deciding that they're going to stand by their boundaries and standards because they know their value and their worth and they do realize that men are, in fact, the prize. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you listen to a short clip and you let me know what you think. What disqualifies a woman to a man? give you the opportunity to introduce yourself tell us a little bit about yourself uh, a little bit of your background as well as where people can reach you sure my name is Nigel McKnight uh, my background um, I'm pretty much a serial entrepreneur businessman author writer podcaster youtuber and I just now join twitch um as far as education wise I have my bachelor's in accounting computer programming I have also studied state and federal law for over 20 years um political science um other than that um i have my own clothing brand rock aware and my website is repercussionsapparel.com um pretty much um i like to discuss topics in a manosphere red pill community i like to shed light on the how can i say the issues that we have with uh, men being emasculated, uh, men have to deal with role reversals, modern women, modern women behavior, and things like that. That's pretty much the things I like to discuss as far as uh, my podcast and my topics, which is Sigma Male Style. Uh, what first? Do you want to add anything before we move on to the next one? Oh well, no, no. Um, yeah, I would say something briefly. The reason why um, I wouldn't marry for the love portion is because I understand a woman's nature. One hundred percent. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yes. Um, women are more likely to cheat, whether it's emotional, sexual, mental, whether she's mentally stimulated by a man, you know, things like that of that nature. For example, a woman can understand that a man is running or operating multiple businesses. She would say, OK, I understand what this is. So I know you're not going to be around just that and the third. But eventually, specifically women that deal with social media accounts it's easier for them to be entertained by other men due to their boredom and they wanted that portion of attention to be fulfilled by that man or other men hmm. so when you get into that context because women will monkey branch you know they will put men in a friend zone to fulfill that desire when she can't get it from her man not all women are like that but it's a strong probability so, I mean, if love was the case, if she understood that by being cooperative and saying, you know, submitting to it, like, listen, I'm not going to be here. She says, OK, it is what it is. Then, you know, here we go. everything would be cool. But it's a high probability these days that something like that would transpire. Love um, is composed of two things. You know, there's the emotion and then there's the action. Right. Right. But in terms of the emotion, you're going to lose that as you're as you spend time with your partner. It comes and goes. Right. And as it should, because it's an emotion. No emotion is constant. And the emotion of love is a, something you're going to gain and you're going to lose, you're going to gain again. And that's why love can never be the foundation of a relationship. Also, uh, Bifrost's law, which is no value, no relationship. In other words, 
a woman will only love you based on how she feels about you. However, for her to feel something about you, you actually have to bring value. If she, if it's emotional, uh, let me give an example. Hey, whether it's emotional, physical, sexual, spiritual, whatever it is, she has to be gaining something from you for her to attach emotions to you. This doesn't make her a bad person at all. It's just the way they are. The Bifurk's law, right? Which is why you can have a an amazing yeah, people in a long term relationship. Amazing. Uh, the man loses his job, for example. She's going to give him time, but eventually, if he doesn't get his job back or he gets another job, may continue that lifestyle and that quality of life. She's going to leave, right? right? Moving on to the question, I wanted to say. Uh, a lot of women tend to say when they come to the that what they bring to the table is their money, their careers, their ambition. So my question to you is, how important is a woman's ambition in terms of a relationship? First to you personally, and then to men as a whole from the best of your knowledge. OK, yeah, that's no problem. For me, a woman and a woman's ambition is very, very important. That would come like third on the list for as a priority within the woman fire as how I would see value within her. For example, if a woman is too busy being depressed or stressed out or anything like that, she's less likely to have any ambition. She's not going to have the energy to focus in or the desire. However, a woman that's ambitious, she could perform, I mean, excuse me, she could fulfill and be very inspirational to that husband, boyfriend, or whatever the case is. You know, she. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes part one of three of the podcast pertaining to the black man experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time and thank you for listening. And oh, yeah, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and remember to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, y'all stay safe and be blessed. But that meant, but that meant, but that meant, but that meant, but that meant.